this is my Rix um, oilless compressor. It's an SA3E for electric. And over here is my filter array, moisture, and carbon filters. You see, I've got three pressure gauges hooked up here. This one here is set up before the back pressure regulator. And this one is after the back pressure regulator. And then the air goes up the tube into the filter array. The first tube over here on the right is just for more moisture collection. Second and third are drying uh, 13x sieve. And the fourth is a... Uh, filter with carbon activated in there but right here in the middle is another back pressure regulator and right here is the pressure gauge that goes for the scuba tank this is the back pressure regulator it's got the gauge on top of it but the gauge is for the pressure after the regulator so it's not measuring the pressure in front of the regulator this is the gauge that measures the pressure in front of the regulator. The purpose of the back pressure regulator is to settle the air down so that you can get the moisture out of it back here in these two moisture collection columns. You see the two spigots at the bottom there. The moisture columns are black. So the back pressure regulator doesn't let any air out of the compressor until you get to 1800 PSI and then it lets the air out and so this front gauge right here this one will have to get to 1800 PSI before it'll let air out through the back pressure regulator and then that'll go up the line here and it'll hit another back pressure regulator so this one here won't you won't that other back pressure regulator doesn't let the air out until 1500 so you'll see this get to 1500 before you start to see this gauge up here move okay uh, now we're going to turn the compressor on and we will watch as the pressure builds up and the back pressure gauges hold it back until the first one gets to 1800 psi and the second one gets to 1500 psi and you'll see each of the gauges start to react when they reach their point
little stopper there.